Welcome back everyone on our channel, I You Can Talk. We have a very interesting journey today and uh, you can't afford to lose your attention on today's conversation. To uh, give us all about, uh, you know, uh, her high school, her uh, college acceptance. Today we are going to be in conversation with uh, Nilasha and I'll uh, give her two minutes to speak about herself and then we have so many questions lined up for her. So all over to you Nilasha. Tell us something about yourself and then we'll go from there. Okay, so thank you for having me here. I'm Nilasha. I'm an undergrad freshman at UNC Chapel Hill. I'm planning on majoring in biomedical engineering and a big topic that we'll be discussing today is how I graduated from the North Carolina School of Science and Math. Wow, wonderful. So firstly, I guess um, we all have our, you know, uh, college conversation from students from the you know uh, regular high school right but you are from uh, ncssm so that's a very very unique journey in, it, in itself uh, ncssm is very rigorous so firstly um, you know take us through on your high school journey uh, what prompted you to kind of go to ncssm how did you make it there so let's start from there and then of course we have all the you know lined up questions on the college application how you made uh, to unc chapel hill and uh, so on and so forth so uh, let's start with your high school uh, journey okay so well ncssm is just a school for juniors and seniors so i first started my freshman and sophomore year of high school at my base school called heritage and I did like it there, but it was, you know, just like a typical public school. It was very big and I didn't really feel like I made a very good connection with any of my teachers. And, you know, I didn't have a lot of academic opportunities there like NCSSM did. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I applied to NCSM in the first place is because one of my best friends, her brother went there and I just, he himself told me how good of a school it was and I just felt inspired by him to apply. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's definitely like the biggest reason. Yeah, and I know that it that school is very rigorous, right? And mm -hmm. the selection process is also very, uh, it, they are pretty uh, stringent on that. So yeah. uh, throw some light on that. How did you make it? Because, uh, you know, I'm sure many have that question that what is that you prepared to get yourself selected and land to that school so yeah yeah so ncssm it's like a school that basically prepares you for college it's part of the unc system so one of the biggest benefits of going to ncssm is the fact that it gives you a tuition grant if you go to any unc school and you get automatic admission to any unc school um so that's definitely one of the biggest reasons for why it's so hard to get in because a lot of people want to reap those benefits of getting the tuition mm -hmm. grant and everything, especially because, you know, schools like NC State and UNC Chapel Hill are so good nowadays. Um, so I think really it's honestly very similar to the college application process. You need to focus a lot on your grades, obviously, mm -hmm. your extracurriculars, um, and they do ask you for essays uh, on the application. So yeah, that is like one of the biggest things really, the essays. Wow. So before, uh, you know, uh, college, because we all know that um, uh, when you're in your high school, you're not writing any college essays or, you know, you're not doing anything, but you already yeah. had that practice because you had to submit few essays at NCSSM. So, yeah. um, you know, uh, walk us through that, you know, what exactly did you present yourself? like? Uh, was it uh, your extracurriculars? Uh, we are very intrigued. We are very interested to know that, you know, how did you go to that? Because we know it's a STEM oriented school mm -hmm. and it's rigorous. It's It has a lot of criteria. So if you can elaborate more on, you know, what exactly were your uh, lineup of curriculum, uh, curriculars and, you know, what exactly you presented yourself that got you uh, selected to that school? Yeah, so um, definitely because, as you said, it's a STEM-oriented school. They focus a lot on doing STEM-related extracurriculars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think one of the biggest, I think one of the biggest things that helped me the most when it came to the application process was the fact that I was valedictorian at my old school. 
um and like i obviously that meant that i had a pretty high gpa compared to other people mm -hmm. um so i would say that definitely helped me a lot but also i did a lot of volunteering like over the summer and just throughout the school year i volunteered at like a local cat shelter uh, i volunteered at kumon stuff mm -hmm. like that um but also i do think that especially like both for NCSM and for college in general, they look for people who aren't completely STEM oriented because it makes you fall a little bit flat. Um, so one of my biggest extracurriculars is dance and I did dance very intensively. I still do, but mm -hmm. um, I did ballet and you know contemporary and Bollywood dance and all of that mm -hmm. um, ever since I was four mm -hmm. and like the ballet especially that i was doing was at a very high level i would have practice like 15 hours a week and you know i mm -hmm. got lead roles and stuff in my recitals and everything um which i do think was like one of the key factors as well because it showed that i had a passion for fine arts too mm -hmm. and not just completely stem mm -hmm. so i think that also set me apart from other people mm -hmm. so yeah wow so I guess, uh, you know, all our viewers who are, who are uh, in right now in uh, middle school and you're aspiring to kind of uh, see themselves uh, in NCSSM, uh, I'm also, you know, getting into the tongue twister. So that's a brilliant school. And if you are thinking that, you know, you have to uh, be there, Nilasha has detailed out how you have to be there what you have to do you have to show a lot of consistency like uh, nilasha she has been doing uh, ballet for 12 years right uh, as young as four she started and she's been doing it and she loved dancing so um that was a very very good uh, takeaway nilasha that you know um, yeah i am a science person but i am showing a uh, you know a variety of my interests i am a, a fine art person and uh, more you are you show yourself your uh, personality of a diverse personality mm -hmm. i think that helps you to win a lot of situation for which uh, you know you were in that school yeah. so um that was a pretty uh good uh, insight and guidance uh, Nirasha I'm sure uh, many many will be uh, benefiting out of that so now uh, let's get into the you know rigorosity of uh, the programs that you did I spoke to you a bit offline and you said that we didn't have too much of AP subjects uh, over there so yeah, yeah. Uh, walk us through on that I mean what were the course lineup uh, you didn't you you were not given too much of AP subject choices and electives were pretty uh, low so yeah let us know on that yeah so even though they didn't offer like very many ap's at um, ncssm it's because most of the classes that they offer there do transfer for college credit so mm -hmm. there's still you know like college level difficulty and stuff like that um so yeah they are pretty rigorous especially like the stem mm -hmm. like basic stem classes that you have to take like chemistry physics biology mm -hmm. um at SSM, they require you to take two chemistries, two physics, and at least one biology um, to mm -hmm. graduate. So clearly very STEM oriented. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was definitely it was definitely difficult because they also you you can take up to eight subjects in one semester. You have mm -hmm. to take at least five and majority of those classes will be difficult STEM classes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it was hard because they're all, you know, college level classes preparing you for college. Mm -hmm. And that's just something that you're going to have to learn, like while you're at SSM, how mm -hmm. to balance all your classes with all of your extracurriculars, because yeah. that they do expect you to do well in all of your classes and also partake in a lot of the clubs and organizations there. Mm -hmm. So, but I think that is like one of the good things about SSM is that they offer like a lot of resources to help you like. Mm -hmm. with mental health or counseling or any of that they do have like a lot of those there um because they know you know we're all still like 16 17 dealing mm -hmm. with like college level yeah. a college Our level fun. environment mm -hmm. yeah basically mm -hmm. so they do offer a lot of those resources there and yeah wow and also uh, it's a residential program right yeah. so uh a lot it's the 
itself it's very challenging mm -hmm. and also you are away from your uh, home you're away from your family you're staying in the school and you know you're, you're the you are pursuing all your courses so yeah. uh going a bit bit off uh, on from the topic how did you deal that because uh, you just said that we were very young uh, you know uh, taking uh, the rigorosity mm -hmm. of the uh, academics how was that uh, aspect that you know staying so far away from family and you know residing in school so yeah tell us something about that yeah it was definitely difficult to adjust to at first because again it's basically like college but two years early mm -hmm. um you're even younger than most college students you're only like 15 or 16 mm -hmm living away from home and having to deal with all these hard classes and stuff like that. But I think, at least for me specifically, my parents don't live too far from mm -hmm. uh, the NCSM campus because I went to the Durham campus and I live in Wake Forest. So mm -hmm. it was only like a 40, 45 minute drive. Mm -hmm. And because I'm an only child, my parents would come and visit like yeah. very often. So mm -hmm. I, I would see them pretty often, but when it came to the actual experience of living there, mm -hmm. I think just what really helped is the fact that everyone around me is going through the same thing. They're yeah. also away from home for, mm -hmm. the, for the first time, going mm -hmm. through all of these difficult classes for the first time. And I was very, very lucky to be able to develop a solid friend group from like the beginning of my time there, mm -hmm. which definitely helped. Um, I think, you know, one of my biggest pieces of advice is just to try to build as many connections as you can from the beginning because mm -hmm. having a solid friend group is probably what really helped me the most mm -hmm. um transitioning from mm -hmm. you know public school to ncsm mm -hmm. so yeah don't just stay in your room all the time mm -hmm. say yes if people ask you to hang out stuff mm -hmm. like that wow yeah that's a very good piece of advice right uh so in our last conversation um uh you know uh, with the student that i was uh, you know uh, uh, detailing out her journey so she said that i asked her that you know how was how did you research on your colleges and she said that um i researched on how good are they are uh, you know in parting because i'm not going to college just to study i'm also you know the other aspect of college i ha also have to see and that was a good yeah. takeaway in lasha that you know don't just uh, confine yourself in uh, you know your room and uh, we've also covered that extensively on the volunteering aspect when we have uh, you know spoke with different students that how important is uh, you know volunteering mm -hmm. so let's touch on that well, how was your uh, you know uh, volunteering was it like uh, confined in a room doing a volunteering from uh, your laptop preparing cards or you know uh, uh, helping uh, seniors or you did hit the road and you were like you know kind of uh, doing uh, on-prem volunteering so yeah let's uh, let's hear it out from you your volunteering journey of the high school year because that's very pivotal in your college application as well we all know that yeah so yeah let's hear that out, out from you yeah so um when it comes to volunteering the three main volunteering opportunities that i took were at my local cat shelter through my ballet studio and also at wake med hospital so the one that I definitely enjoyed the most was probably the cat shelter. Um, it was just like, I'm very much like a dog person, but it really allowed me to be able to make connections with cats. And basically what I did was I was like a cleaning specialist and mm -hmm. I would just clean their cages and, you know, help them adjust to the shelter. Mm -hmm. um, and that specific shelter that I worked for, it was, they were very like, very kind people, very kind staff, and they basically would just pick up cats from the road and take them in and mm -hmm. you know groom them and make them prepare to be adopted by other people mm -hmm. and just the entire experience there was really nice because you know i love animals even though i'm more of a dog person um it was just really nice seeing all the cats be rehabilitated there and mm -hmm. just you know go through a good experience after being on the streets for most of their life mm -hmm. so yeah and then I also did volunteering at the Wake Med Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that's where I got most of my hours from. I got around like 40 or 50 hours there, I think, in one summer. Wow. Um, so what I did there is I basically helped inventory the gift shop there. Mm -hmm. So 
I just like worked in a room and I would just put you know like labels on products and stuff like that mm -hmm. and you know it honestly wasn't very like health related or anything mm -hmm. um, but it was so nice doing some good for a hospital setting and mm -hmm. my my like managers and my boss were very kind there so I did enjoy that experience um yeah and I definitely appreciated how I had like pretty long shifts there because it allowed me to get a lot of hours at once mm -hmm. um and then my third biggest like volunteering thing that I did was through my ballet studio so my ballet they every December they would host the Nutcracker mm -hmm. um and through that they it was basically like a non-profit for them mm -hmm. so through that they would well we as dancers we would dance at like old age homes or like hospitals or mm -hmm. libraries mm -hmm. um just as like a performance for all the people who are there and like you know we'd have like a variety of audience like mm -hmm. old people kids hospital staff stuff like that um so i did i was also able to rack up a few hours there which mm -hmm. I really enjoyed. So, wow. Yeah. So all in all, I guess you were all, uh, you know, uh, volunteering, not confined to uh, your room and just yeah. hitting the road and doing so many things. And I guess that helped you craft you as a person you are. Like you mentioned that I uh, volunteered at a pet shelter and a cat mm -hmm. shelter and uh, that helped you kind of shape you up as a person you are. And of course that took you on your college essays and application, how you have framed and structured them. So that was a brilliant, uh, you know, uh, a journey on volunteering uh, that you shared with us, Nilasha. And we have so much more. And I know all our viewers having a cloud of questions on top of your head. We have a lot more. Uh, don't go anywhere. Just quickly go for a water break and come back. You will have a lot of uh, answers to your questions and it will be interesting. I am sure on that. See you soon.